Hey, 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 welcome to Credit Makes Sense with Natilla, the frugal creditista, where we answer your questions about money, credit, and everything in between. Super excited to be with you guys today. The prosperity partner question we are answering is about business credit. For those of you who don't know me, by the way, I own m &H Financial Services, a financial education services firm, where we help women and couples over 30 to create custom credit solutions so that they can crush their financial goals. I also run the epic free Facebook community, Credit Makes Sense, where we have challenges and credit repair manuals and all that good stuff so that you can learn how to repair, restore, rebuild, and transform your own credit scores. I also run the bomb.com members club, Credit on Fire, where I teach you how to Master your money, destroy your debts or your credit scores so that you can then begin leveraging it to create wealth. So we talk a whole lot about credit, a whole lot about budgeting, a whole lot about saving, investing, investing in real estate, entrepreneurship, and so much more. So today's prosperity partner question is about business credit. As usual, I will read it verbatim. Hi, Silva. I am currently trying to build my business credit for my new company. I've been in business for about three years and I'm having a hard time. I've read that you can build your credit separate from your personal credit profile, but I'm having a rough time as everything that I apply for is looking for a personal guarantee. Yeah, I mean, you can build business credit separate from personal initially, and in some cases, depending on what you apply for, but as you get higher up on the amount of money that you need or funding that you need in order to make some serious ad money, your personal credit is gonna have to be on point. Holla, yes, it will be. So what are some of the things that you can begin to do? Usually when I hear people say that they can't get anything, it usually means that they're applying for the wrong thing at the wrong time. If you're just starting off and building business credit, you can't go for uh, Chase or US Bank credit card, especially if you don't bank with them. And you have to make sure that the preliminary steps have been uh, carry through or followed as well. Do you have your EIN number? Are you a separate entity? Do you have a business bank account? Are you registered and listed and 401 directory and all that good stuff? Those preliminary steps haven't happened. Chances of you getting a major uh, credit card or something or a loan is very slim. And I've often found it easier to have, um, have um, what am I trying to say? I often find it easier to have your business bank account and your first credit card with whomever you enroll with. For example, I first started off with US Bank and then I got a US Bank uh, business credit card. I had a Capital One, got a Capital One credit card. So something like that. So you might try that as well. Now, make sure again that you are a separate entity, that you have your EIN number, that you have done all of your business registrations, that you um, for one registry, like make sure you have done all of that first. And then make sure that you start off with some 30-day uh, or type cards. So those are like your Quill, your Granger your Uline, Staples, I'm trying to think of some more. If you guys know any, definitely list them under the video. Make sure you start off with those because that's what's going to begin building your credit profile on DMB. Make sure you register for that. Equifax, Experian, all of the other business reporting because you need that in order to begin applying for the other major cards. Because one thing that happened to me is that although I got the US Bank and the Capital One and even the Quill, because I didn't start off properly by doing those, I can't believe what kind of accounts they are, basically net 30 accounts. That's probably what they're called, net 30 accounts. <laughs> because I didn't start off really building up my net 30 accounts and I had those couple of cards, I still wasn't able to go for the higher brackets because you really have to do it in sequential order. Like all my other stuff was on point, the BNB number and registering um, my business and being an S Corp and all of that good stuff, but I hadn't taken the time to really build up my business credit profile. Similarly to if you were building your personal credit and you went out and tried to apply for a Bank of America card and your credit scores are like 550, like not gonna happen. They don't even really give you a secured credit card for that amount. So you have to start off with those subprime accounts with your personal credit. Similarly, you wanna start off with your net 30 accounts with your business credit so that you can build that up. And I wish I could tell you I had a product, like we do have a product for building business credit, but do you want to know how I learned how to build my business credit? Ask me, ask me, ask me. You too, you too have a slew of information on how to begin building your business credit. And they literally have videos that walk you through step by step by step. Like you can start a good video, pause it, go implement, come back, play it again, implement that stuff, pause it, come back. Like that's literally how I built it all up. I do have a um, checklist that I have inside of my Credit on Fire Academy, as well as probably one of my favorite books, 
on business credit. And we also have someone coming out and doing a QA and a on it. But I tell you just like what I did. I went on YouTube and I went, we call it YouTube University. I educated myself about business credit. There are some dope videos on building business credit. And of course, if you're a wealth creator inside of my Credit on Fire Academy and you want even more information on building business credit or have questions, just ask me. And I can direct you to the videos. I can direct you to um, the checklist. I can, like I said, I'm already bringing someone on to, to talk about more in depth about business credit. It's pretty simple. I actually find building business credit to be far more easier than building personal credit. And I'll tell you this too, as I mentioned earlier in the video, there will come to a point where you will need to personally guarantee your credit. I'll give you an example. I have a client from, uh, well, she was my credit on personal credit. She was my personal credit client back in the day. Um, so I guess now she's a um, associate friend and she has a very flourishing business. She wanted to build out a space, get out of her home, build out a, a personal space with storage and a place for clients to come into. She's into um, design and making stuff. And um, she got an SBA loan and it was not easy. They wanted her personal credit to be on point. They wanted her business rec records. Definitely must. So if you're not book doing good bookkeeping, honey, you can forget getting uh, a decent amount of money. Like your records have to got to be on point. So her business records had to be on point. And they even had her give blood because of the amount of money. They wanted to make sure that she was like, not going to die or something. I don't know. I don't know why I said it. That's why they wanted her to give blood. But that's just telling you that you have to be on point depending on the size of your loan. So if you're thinking that you can continue to just build business credit and not have anybody check your personal credit, that's a lie. And there's even some companies or entrepreneurs that I work with that have to get personal credit to be on point because they have to fund payroll until their receipts, receivables are paid, their accounts receivables are paid. So what does this mean? This means that your personal credit and your business credit should be on point. You should not be an entrepreneur out here definitely growing a profitable business and your credit sucks. Like, are you serious? No. <laughs> no. So my advice to you, apply, make sure that you follow the preliminary steps on building business credit. Make sure you start off with the net 30 accounts and not jump the gun and go straight for uh, these major banks and expecting them to give you money that's not going to happen if you haven't taken the preliminary steps and make sure that your personal credit is on point so if you do have to personally guarantee or they just check it some of them don't even want a personal guarantee they just want to know that you and your personal uh payment habits are on point so if they're not no you're a risk you are a risk so even if they're not asking you to personally guarantee the business loan that you're taking out but they still want to check your credit and some of them do do this then you want to ensure that your personal finances are on point. The thing is this, you don't want to ever come to the point where your personal situation is affecting the growth of your company. And if your personal credit is getting in the way of the progression of your company, that can eventually provide the lifestyle, the employment opportunities for people in your community and serving your ideal clients, then get your personal credit together. Yep, I can help. I'll let me. And uh, for those of you who have any other questions, definitely post them below. If you like your questions answered live during my Credit Makes Sense segment, which happens every Tuesday and Thursday at 1230, let me know. Left the email address down there, social at mnhfinancialservices.com, social at mnhfinancialservices.com. And hopefully you see that $1 holla special down there for my Credit on Fire Academy. That's where we have the business credit information, building your personal credit, building your or mastering your money, destroying your debts. And I literally provide it to you in a step by step by step, A, B, C, D. All you got to do is doing exactly what I told you to do on YouTube. Start, pause, implement. Start, pause, implement. And make sure that you attend our bi-weekly accountability and Q&A calls and our live lessons because that's where you get the community, the support, and answer your questions. You can even share your screen to let us know what's going on with you so that we can walk, through, walk you through uh, your financial situation, questions, concerns, et cetera, so you can crush it. We're about crushing goals up in here. <laughs> so make sure you click on that dollar trial link. Thank you much. See you next time for Credit Makes Sense.